Boulevard Brewing Company is about to pop the top on a major milestone. Sunday marks 30 years in business. I stopped by the brewery to learn more about the ingredients that went into building a Kansas City success story. Boulevard's a Midwestern mecca for the craft beer lover. Turning out product at a blistering pace, but it took a lot to get here. This was our bedroom. Founder John McDonald lived in a small apartment above the brew house he built from the ground up. We had our kegging operation over there. Everything in the brewery was in this room. In the 80s, his idea of launching an independent brewery almost didn't fly. I couldn't get a bank loan. It took me three or four years to, you know, raise the money and, and research it and buy the equipment. John delivered his first keg on November 17th, 1989. The rest is history. I think we had seven employees after seven years, and I didn't see much farther than that. Today, 240 people work here at Boulevard's sprawling Kansas City campus, including brewmaster Stephen Powell's. You got to try to uh, capture your audience and make sure that they stay interested. Years ago, he moved from Belgium to join the Boulevard family. The demand for old favorites and new flavors has grown a lot since then. Sometimes I look at the bottle line and I see bottles go by at 500 bottles a minute, and like. Who's drinking all this? You know, where does it all go? So I think we've been a really a part of the new fabric of Kansas City. I'm so excited about what's going on in Kansas City today. And today it's a thriving uh, uh, metropolitan area that's, that's got a lot of opportunity. A boulevard now owned by a Belgian company is sold internationally and across the country. Uh, you know, talking to John, he said 30 years ago, he never imagined that it would be this successful or that it would really help put Kansas City on the map, especially when it came to craft beer over the years. So. And it's something synonymous now with the city. Mm -hmm. I love right. that you were able to find the old uh, pictures yeah. Yeah, that of makes him it. when he was starting out uh -huh. on the phone with jet black hair. And right. Yeah, 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 John's, John's changed a little bit, but yeah, and so has the world of craft beer because now there are, yeah. what, like 24, 25 mm -hmm. breweries uh, right. just in Kansas City, there are thousands of them across the country. But in the 80s, they didn't have that. You had the big, you had the big beer companies, and not those. So really, really cool. Yeah.